Hey guys, this is Zully from Hugget, and I'm going to demo our mission database and search engine for you guys. I really think you'll like it. I know we do at Hugget. I won't waste your time with a lot of extra fluff here, so let's just jump into why this might be useful for you. So at Hugget, one of our big problems is that we have a hard time deciding what to fly when we don't want to do our training mission. And I found the existing tools for finding missions to be a bit primitive and wanted to get better information about a mission before we have to download it and load it up in the game and all that. So I spent the last few weeks developing a tool for us that I want to share with the community at large. This is our mission database and search engine, which you can find at hugitworld.com in the upper left corner there, the mission database. This is where everything I'm going to demo today lives. So let's say you've got, you're flying with three other people. So you want to do a minimum of four players. And today we've decided that we want to do some casts. We want a mission with a tanker in the air. So let's search for air refueling as well. And because we like things a little on the difficult side, let's add some weather to the mix and find missions that are turbulent. And uh, I've actually already searched for this before, so let's just use that. Okay, so now we get a, uh, a list of missions that meet our criteria that we've searched for. Let's check out a classic right here with uh, Separatist Aggression from Grey Wolf. All right, so we have you know, the link to where we got this from, the uh, author to the mission. We want to credit them for sure. And um, let's take a look at what we can find here. <clears throat> so we can see all of the platforms that are available in the mission and their role. So we have you know, some COF 50s for casts, some seed rolls, and you can click that and see the exact uh, call signs and stuff from them. Nice. So we can take a look at the briefing images as well. They're in small format right here, but you can click them and get a large version of that. It opens in a new tab, so you can just close the tab and go back to where you were. Um, Let's see, and we can read about the mission information from the author here on the left, get the overview. This is the information that they put into the mission editor. It's just directly over here. You can see coalition specific information. There's uh, no red slots, so no information there. And if this mission is part of a uh, series, we can, uh, will be noted right here. We can click this and we can see all of the missions that are in this series. Okay, so let's go back here. A couple of other things that we can do here is uh, if we liked the mission, we can uh, vote on it and give it a thumbs up right here. Uh, higher scoring missions get priority in the search list so that the uh, higher quality missions will be listed towards the top. You can filter out the wheat from the chaff a little more easily and find better missions more quickly. And uh, if you click comments here or go to the bottom, you will be able to add comments so that you can get the, uh, the user experience from this mission. Uh, you can leave notes about it or talk about how you know, awesome it was or how terrible it was. And, uh, you know, just or just make a joke or what the hell ever. So we can also vote on these and this will, uh, you know, allow these good comments to rise to the top so we can get the most information about the mission that we can. That's really useful. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll sh the, 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 the really cool thing about this is that none of this data is user generated. It's all parsed automatically out of the mission file uh, when you upload it to the database. So that means that the, you, the, the information that you get out of it, you know exactly what to expect when you download and run the mission. You aren't relying on reading a mission description or a uh, forum post written by the author where there could be mistakes or you know, God knows how they formatted it. Uh, you have to look all over the place. They might not even put the player slots in the, in the description here. So one of the big advantages of this is that you, know, you have a very predictable format. You know exactly what's in the mission. You know exactly where to look. And everything is completely searchable. And we'll show off that in just a minute. <clears throat> So let's go to the mission downloads, or uploads rather. Uh, anybody can upload a mission. Uh, you don't even need to register. The only thing we ask is uh, give credit where it's due, fill out the, uh, the author link if you can, and the source link for where you got it. And um, not only does this you know, give credit where it's due, but it also helps us search for more things. So if you fill out the, uh, the author field, for instance, uh, there'll be a link on the search where they can click that and see all of the missions that are by that user or by that author. If you're the one who's made the mission and you're uploading it to here, you definitely want to do this because it'll give you the maximum exposure for your mission uh, so that people can find your stuff more easily. <clears throat> uh, no paid files, please. We don't want to do licensing or anything like that. We'll police this very carefully. Uh, we definitely don't want things on our server that we shouldn't have on there. So no paid files, uh, please. Be a, uh, that would be a problem. So uh, let's go ahead and upload a mission I got the other day called, uh, this mission is called Attack on Team Bravo. So let me go over here and find it. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, and uh, this mission was made by uh, Apache 600. And uh, I'll copy and paste the link that I got this from right here. 
All right, and so what this will do is that this will put a link to, you know, back to where he uploaded it on the forums so that people can go back and read about it and things like that. <clears throat> if it's part of a mission series or group, we can add that here. Um, this one isn't, but just to show it off, so we'll do like separate aggression. If it's in there, you'll be able to select it or create a new campaign with what you've typed right here. We don't have one, so we're not going to put that in there. Um, tags are just additional things that uh, people can search on to, to find this mission. Um, I, I'm just going to put, uh, oh goodness, let me just make up something here. I'm just going to put Bravo in here, Team Bravo, why, why not? And uh, just kind of useless. You can be able to, you'll be able to put more useful things in there. Uh, noob friendly is one that I like to put in. Uh, heavy man pads or easy mission or hard mission, things like that. Just for the sake of this, we'll do hard mission. Let's do that. So this is a difficult mission. All right, so we'll upload it. <clears throat> and uh, there we go. It loads up the, you know, it puts our attributions for where we got the file from and who we got it from. Uh, the briefing information is available for us here, and uh, we can, okay, there's only one image in this. We can see the slots that are available. Uh, we got a SU-25 right here for us to use, and the mission overview written by the author. Uh, it's got a mission overview, no coalition specific anything there. And obviously we can download the mission so that we can run it. So let's try and, uh, let's see, I put hard mission on here, so we'll try that. Let's, let's go to the search and let's see if we can find this mission. <clears throat> this might be the only one that I've done with this tag. So we'll go and we'll search it by the tag that I just put in. Oh no, we have a few. So here we go, we have attack on team Bravo, number one. There it is that we put, so we can find that rather easily. The author and creator's over here to the right, so if you click on that, you will see all of the missions that they've made. That's a pretty neat little feature there. Um, and some other things about the, uh, the search that we can do is that we can filter by aircraft. So if you only want a mission that has specific aircraft in it, uh, let's just go back to our uh, one that we just put. So we'll put a Su-25, uh, Su-25T, I think was what was in it. And uh, we'll go back and search for our tags. So if we want hard missions that have Su-25Ts in them, we can find those. So there you go. And there's our mission right at the top because it is the most relevant search for what we put in. Um, so yeah, I think this would be pretty useful. Um, you can see a lot of information about a mission before ever even having to download it. Um, I think this will help the community out a lot in finding things to fly. Um, it's very easy to search for single player or multiplayer missions. Uh, you know, that's one of the things that you can search for in that bar that's really easy to do. Uh, some other things that we want to work on in the future here. Um, we have a PDF link that is not quite ready yet. It will be soon. Uh, you click this, you can get a PDF version with all of this information, the mission, the images, the available platforms, and things like that. Um, and a mission planner is something that's in the works as well. Um, we can, you know, you can add users, and you can slot them into the slots that are available in the mission, and give them radio frequencies and call signs and things like that, uh, which is really useful for if you're using something like TARS, which relies on uh, that information. So, uh, you know, there's some other stuff on the site, too, uh, other than the mission database, though that's the big thing. Uh, you know, we have links to our TeamSpeak and subreddit and you know, our IRC, um, some general information about Hoggett. Uh, we got a link to our wiki here, which is really good for noobs and has uh, official documentation for things like uh, the MIST framework for mission making and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this isn't a recruiting video or anything, but if you want to come by, I really would like some feedback on... Uh, you know, on the mission database or anything else in general there. So if you want to come by, uh, you know, check out our IRC or our TeamSpeak. Um, you know, we're in IRC with Idle there all day when we're supposed to be working. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback about the mission database or the site or Hoggett or, you know, if you want any information about checking out what we're like. You know, we're, uh, you know, we, we, we like noobs, we like teaching. And, uh, you know, if that's the kind of place for you, come check it out. Um, but definitely want to make a really great tool for the community here. Um, and the only way that I can really do that is if I know exactly what you guys want and what you like and what you don't like about what we've got going on here. So, uh, yeah, just jump on the IRC. That's the best place that you can find me. And, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's have a chat about it and figure out how to make this thing really great for everybody. Uh, so thanks for your time, guys. And, uh, you yeah, know, looking forward to uh, hearing your feedback on this. Thanks.